Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and it's time to talk about The Walking Dead. So the last two episodes were kind of iffy for me. The Eugene episode was kind of irrelevant. I think some people got a whole lot out of it that wasn't actually in the episode uh, because there wasn't much. So that was kind of a bummer. Then the next episode was really headed in the right direction, but had a few missteps. But I thought it was it was okay. But you know, could have been could have been a little bit better very easily. Now this episode, I don't know how I feel about this one. I think the episode was objectively pretty good. I, I don't have a whole lot to complain about in terms of the writing and that kind of stuff. Unless I do. And the reason I say that is because it's kind of unclear uh, as far as the motives and reasons behind something that happens toward the end of the episode. So let me just give you the quick breakdown. We're going to try to keep this, uh, this video kind of short. I'm going to, I'm going to try to pare these down because I tend to, I like to talk about this kind of stuff. So it might get long. We'll see. Um, okay, so this is kind of like the culmination of the conflict between the saviors and the people from the kingdom who've been doing those drops and we've seen at least once i think maybe twice now that they haven't been getting along well the guy with the nose whose name i just cannot remember for some reason uh he doesn't like the saviors obviously but they keep kind of going at each other as they do the meets or as they do the drops for the tribute as they call it uh, so this is finally where that leads uh, we saw that he was coming up with that plan to get Carol in trouble, and then Daryl's like, nah, don't do that. So that plan got got nixed. Now he's doing this other plan, we find out, which will, in his eyes, get the kingdom to fight against the saviors with the Alexandrians and whoever else. So his idea, Nose Guy's idea, to get this to happen is to get the saviors to kill somebody at one of these drops. That will show Ezekiel that they just can't deal with this anymore. They need to they need to deal with it. You know what I mean? So that's his plan. So what he does is he sets up this elaborate plan to stall them. We don't know it's him, but we kind of know it's him. Nobody else knows it's him anyway who sets this up. But he sets up this plan, and it doesn't quite make sense until the end, which I thought was pretty cool the way they tied that all together, so that's fine. But he sets up this plan. He stalls them on their way to meet the saviors. He takes one of the 12 cantaloupes that they are supposed to be giving his tribute, and he hides it. So they only have 11, and that pisses off the saviors, and he thinks, because he's had all these problems already, that they're going to kill him. He's going to sacrifice himself to get the kingdom to go to war, as, as that, that would be enough reason, according to him, to get Ezekiel to do it. Uh, turns out the, the saviors are not nice guys, and they shoot a kid instead, even though the guy in charge of this group is kind of like He's not really a bad guy, per se. At least we kind of get that idea. So he gets mad at the guy, but nonetheless, they shoot the kid. I can't think of the kid's name. Long-haired kid who's training with uh, Morgan. He's training with Morgan, and so they shoot that kid, and they try to save the kid. Our guys take him to Carol's place, try to save him. Carol's got first aid stuff, and doesn't work. So the kid dies. So Morgan is terribly upset. And Nose Guy is terribly upset. And then Morgan, in this fit of anger, leaves Carol's place and apparently goes back to the place where the thing was set up to stall them in the first place. Which, that kind of bugged me, because at least earlier in the episode, they made it seem like that little city area was significantly farther away. But now Morgan just walks there, like right away, and conveniently finds the cantaloupe and then realizes what happened. Which, I don't like that. That's kind of convenient writing, which is par for the course for this show. But that's not the big thing here. The big thing is that Morgan's starting to lose it a little bit. He's reverting back to that clear thing where he was living by himself and going a little bit crazy. But he doesn't completely revert. He ends up collecting himself and he goes back and... Turns out that the saviors said, bring us our cantaloupe, the one you owe us, and everything will be okay tomorrow. Bring it tomorrow. Don't bring more, don't bring less. This is the deal. Do the deal. So they bring up another cantaloupe and... Everything's going according to plan. Um, in the meantime, Morgan had confronted Nose Guy about the plan, so he now knows completely what's going on because he found the cantaloupe. He's like, hey, I know what you did. And the other guy's like, yeah, I know. It didn't work the way I wanted. I was trying to get myself killed to, to rally the troops, and it didn't work. I, I know that sucks, but here's what we can do. We can still work this into our, our benefit because someone did die, and we can... We can take out the saviors. What we'll do is we'll earn their trust in some way, and then when they least expect it, once they think everything's fine, we'll come back and get them. Okay? 
So that makes sense. Like, yeah, Morgan seems to be like, maybe he's kind of on board, maybe not. I don't know yet. So, jump ahead now to them dropping off the other cantaloupe. Right before it happens, Morgan's like, hey, nose guy, did you tell him? Out loud, like a dummy. And nose guy's like, nah, not now. That would be stupid because we're in the middle of something. And then Ezekiel's like, yeah, how about now? Because convenient writing. And so they don't do it because the, the saviors show up conveniently. And then as the saviors are collecting their uh, cantaloupe, Morgan just loses his shit and starts killing, and does kill, a nose guy. And everybody's like, what's going on? So Morgan then says to the savers, he's like, here's what happened. It tells him everything and says, we're not with him. We, we're, we understand the deal. So that's why I killed him. We can't have any trouble. We're all about the deal. We're, we're working with you 100%. Savior guy's like, that guy's nuts, but okay, we're good. See ya. And then everybody else, all the good people are like, what? the heck just happened why why did Morgan do that and then he explains it and they're like yeah what the heck just happened why did he do that and Morgan says I was supposed to that's the part that makes it a little bit unclear we know Morgan's losing it a little bit especially since he just killed somebody who was generally a good guy his plan sucked and it didn't work out but he's generally a good guy so Morgan's losing it but he says I was supposed to so does that mean that he and Nose Guy decided that this is what would happen? Because Nose Guy was going to die in the first place, and this would be that good tipping point to make the saviors think that they're still on board? Or was that not part of the plan? If it wasn't part of the plan, it was pretty stupid to do this. You didn't need to lose one of your fighters in order to make that believable. And if it was part of the plan, still stupid for the same reason. They could have come up with something else. You know, they could have figured out something else, not let's cut down our numbers already. So now we've lost the kid and those guy, and we're going to be going to war soon. Doesn't really make sense either way. But what did you guys get from that? Did you think that it was part of the plan, or did you think that it wasn't? I'm not sure, and they made it unclear, so I'm curious what you guys thought. So, you're probably wondering if you haven't seen the show, and if you have, then you already know, but does Ezekiel make the jump to, yes, let's go fight? And we're not sure yet. But we do find out by the end, because Morgan has been talking to Carol throughout this episode. I just didn't need to mix it in because it wasn't necessary at that point. But So Morgan's talking to Carol, and he's like, do you want to know? And she's like, yeah, I want to know. So he tells her what happened with Negan and everything. And then Carol's like, oh, no, we got to go fight. And then Morgan's like, I'm going crazy, so I'm going to live in your house. You go back to the kingdom, and you guys can go fight. Apparently, that's what's going to happen. So Carol comes back to the kingdom. She goes up to Ezekiel, and she's like, we got to go fight, right? And Ezekiel's like, yeah, we got to go fight. So we now know he's on board. But first, they have to replant their royal garden. Because you still have to plant your garden I guess. I'm not sure exactly what point they were trying to make other than we need to maintain who we are, maybe, type of thing. I don't know. Or just, maybe it was just that he was trying to be nice to the, to the kid's brother because he died and the kid was young, and I don't know. Something like that. So, not a bad not a bad episode. Just a little unclear. Is Morgan full-blown nuts? Because he did mention the wrong name also at one point. So, I don't think he's full-blown nuts. I think he's just a little bit nuts. And now that he's killed, he's either going to go off the deep end completely, or they're going to bring him back to being a normal contributing member of the group. Uh, I don't see it going any other way, other than maybe him dying in this upcoming battle. We'll see. Uh, but I like the general gist of it now that the kingdom's on board. It was a little bit cliche how it all played out, but the main twist was the guy setting up the, the trap, or not the trap, but the trick to lose the cantaloupe, which, you know, I think they, they did a pretty good job about that, I guess, so... I'm okay with it. I think it was alright. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. We'll talk about it up until next week. Then we'll do another video based on that episode. And we'll see how things go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.